Hey there, people. Lenny Rudo here for Fish Talk Magazine. I've come into Angler Sports Center in Annapolis here to talk about a really cool topic. We got something really neat going on right now in the middle Chesapeake Bay. We got sea bass. Now, most years you can catch some sea bass if you really focus on them in the middle Chesapeake, but the fact of the matter is they're usually tiny little guys. I mean, you never get a keeper. This year, people are catching keepers, so we've heard a lot of questions from folks. Hey, how do I go out and target those sea bass? So, first thing I want to talk to you about is jigging spoons. Spoons work really well on the bass. You can fish these straight up, send them down to the bottom, give them, give them your jerks, let them hit bottom on the fall, right? Uh, often with the sea bass, you'll catch more if you take a little squid strip, slide it on there, a little chunk of fish, slide it on the hook. Not a bad idea when using these spoons. Sometimes you let it hit bottom, pull it up a couple feet and just hover it there for a moment or two with bait on it. Sometimes that will do the trick. Uh, one thing I want to be sure to mention, when you get into a area of a wreck or a reef that's real snaggy, uh, you may often find that a jig like this with a hook swinging on the bottom, um, this, will, this will get snagged, and you'll end up using a lot of these jigs. Now, I tell you, I don't think the folks at Anglers mind that too much, but between you and me, let's try not to lose all our tackle, right? Here's a little trick you can do. Flip that spoon upside down, or use one of those spoons that's rigged with a hook at the top. Attach your line there and then put a little bait, piece of bait on that spoon, a little squid strip, something like that, send it down to the bottom, give it the hover, and that will be much less likely to get snagged in the wreckage. Of course, another really good way to fish for sea bass is just going straight up with the bait. We're gonna pull in Rich here. He's gonna tell us about that. Hold on one second, people. Thanks, Lenny. So a lot of us do like to use bait for sea bass, and it's a really, really easy rig to use. And it doesn't differ too much from the rigs that we already use out on the bay for a lot of the white perch and, and smaller fish that we go after. So a, a typical high-low rig, a top and bottom rig, um, a number one hook is fine. Um, I like to uh, kind of shorten these up. I'm going to show you how to rig these um, so that you have a little less leader so that you don't get those snags that Lenny was talking about. Um, but a simple high-low rig like this would work. Um, you can use the, the regular standard snelled hooks. You can also use the flicker snells that have the little blades on them. They work really well, add a little flare to them um, as the current's coming through. And I'll tip those, typically I'll use gulp with those. I like that scented bait, lasts a little bit longer, um, not to keep it refrigerated and alive. Um, or you can use a squid, um, minnows, a variety of different species of, of bait to go on there. So I'm going to show you how to rig one of these. Um, very easy to do. You take your simple top and bottom rig with nothing on it. You take one of your hooks, and the easiest way to rig this is to simply put the loop of your rig, of your hook, through, and then you wrap this around the arm a handful of times, however many times you want to shorten that up, and then when you're done, you take the loop of the mono and you put it over the end of your bottom rig, the end of that metal rig, and slide it down and that'll shorten up the distance so that it doesn't hang real far off and get tangled. Um, so that's a really good way to do it. Thank you, Rich, for that fantastic explanation. Now, you know, folks, there's really just one thing left to talk about, and that's where. Where are you going to catch black sea bass in the middle bay, in the lower bay, or anywhere for that matter? Well, it's very simple. On structure. These are structure-oriented fish. They like areas where there are mussels. They like areas where there are rocks. They like areas where there are wrecks. They like areas where there are reefs. So look at your chart plotter, find those boxes that show you all those artificial reef sites, check them out, try your reef sites that have uh, good muscle growth and that have lots of snags, places you've snagged up a lot in the past are probably going to be good. And finally, if you're just not sure where to go, come on into Anglers, talk to the folks behind the counter, they are always willing to share their knowledge with you. Don't miss another cool fish talk video, click below to subscribe.